In this video we will show how to set up and install an ultraviolet light. Uh, this being a one gallon ultraviolet for a, a reverse osmosis home unit. You may have an existing RO with an ultraviolet that you ordered from H2O Splash. If so, it will come with the stainless steel tube attached to the RO in this manner with a couple of clips and uh, it will have the nut already threaded to the tube. There is an O-ring seal inside the nut and it has a flat side or flat part which is inside and then the outer is coned or kind of a V-shaped uh, O-ring. It's not a round O-ring like your normal ones. The first thing a person needs to do on the setup of this is find the larger cardboard tube. There's a small tube and a large tube in the box. The large tube is your glass sleeve. The sleeve will have one open end and one closed end and the sleeve you can touch with your hands no problem take your o-ring that we talked about and stretch it over the open end of the glass sleeve keeping the flat inner portion of the o-ring down on the glass put it down onto the glass oh about an inch like so insert it into the ultraviolet sterilizing chamber and you'll notice as you get down towards the bottom there's a spring whoops it fell off the spring try to keep it onto that spring find your aluminum nut thread it onto the tube now again if you had this already installed on your RO system you'll have to take the nut off and the o-ring out and uh, find the sleeve and insert the sleeve we don't we don't insert the sleeves because we've had some break in shipping when they've been inserted into the uh, sterilizing chamber next find the ultraviolet bulb remove one of the end caps from the cardboard tube and only touch the ceramic white ends of the tube of the bulb if you touch the glass uh, it'll cause hot spots and possibly premature bulb failure if you do touch that glass you can clean it with uh, an alcohol, uh, rubbing alcohol or Windex, some type of a good glass cleaner. Take your sterilizer tube, or if it's mounted to your RO, that's fine. Just slip your bulb in to the sleeve. Get your electrical unit with a transformer. And the end for the bulb hookup, as you can see, is four four pin hookup, just like the bulb. Slip the bulb in, and your black cover will cover your end there, so no ultraviolet light can escape and then you just need to make sure you have a good grounded plug-in and this actually uh, cuts down to a 12 watt for the one gallon ultraviolet system uh, this one does have lights for whether it's working or not on or off and I believe it has an audible alarm if the bulb goes out and if you really want to check you can slip this back 
and just make sure it's lit by pulling it out just slightly. And you can see if you don't have fittings in your hookup that the bulb is lit. Don't want to look directly in there, but your bulb is lit and your indicator light is green. The other part of installation, if it's a new installation, is uh, the plumbing. And on the RO system, the ultraviolet light is the last stage of, of RO of the RO unit. So you'll come out of your faucet line, and instead of going to the faucet, your fitting will be here and it'll go into that side, out this side, and then right up to your faucet. So, again, the UV light is the last stage in the RO system.